Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the Takeover Lounge. I'm your host, Z Give. I got my co-host with me, Daniela, and we got a special guest with y'all today. We got GP the Poet up in here, man. How you living? Oh, and and we got a we got a familiar face in the back as as well. We got Jimmy Coltrane up in there too. (laughs) Hi. Just say hi to everybody. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. (laughs) Hi, mom. (laughs) Yo, GP, man, how you doing? I cut you off, but how you doing, man? Man, I've been good. Just uh, been working every yeah, day good. constantly. Yo, you just dropped a project, man. How does that feel? It feels wonderful. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that project was like probably the most draining emotionally. Yeah. So it feels good to get that one out. Exactly. You were talking before the show even even started. I was just telling you like how deep it was and I had to take it in doses, man. Like it's just the emotion... Yeah. You you invoked in me with just like hold up man like <laughs> what like I gotta I gotta just take these in doses because you got me reevaluating my whole life. I mean, was that how it was for you as well? Yeah, man. Um, like the writing process throughout that whole album was just filled with deep breaths and emotion and tears and like it, it was just it was a lot to put that to paper or put it in my phone like right yeah that's crazy were you writing on were you writing on your phone and on paper or were you just strictly on your phone or yeah nah it was a pen and pad and also on the phone it just depended on whatever the mood was or whatever i can get my hands on first yo makes sense to me you know we we started kind of unorthodox right now i I asked the first question usually daniela asked the first question but i was i was happy just to get you in here (laughs) exactly all right um now i don't know what that question (laughs) he stumped you you threw me off i don't i I don't try to stump her i try to stump the the guest but (laughs) Yeah, well, GP. Going. <laughs> what was the very first album that you owned? The very first album that I owned. Shit. <laughs> I want to say Born Center. Born like Center. that was the first album that I went out of my way to like fully listen to. So Born Center, yeah. That's crazy. So, like, all this other music, you weren't really buying albums. So, Born Center really was like the one. Yeah, yeah. That's nah. That, ever since then, uh, Cole has been my favorite of all time. Hey, my it's, it's my always res- a constant battle, though. <laughs> <laughs> my my respect for you just shot up to the roof right now. I mean, J Cole is my goat, bro. Like, that's that's number one in my heart. So, man, yeah. Uh, that's I, all I gotta say. Exactly. <laughs> that's all you need to say. I get you. I'm on that wavelength. I'm there. <laughs> right. So, man, I just want to know, man, how how old are you right now? Nineteen, man. Nineteen. Don't don't tell Thunder Canyon that. Otherwise, I won't be. Hey, bro, what? Nineteen, dog? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna say twenty-one for the sake of the video. So, if Thunder Canyon's watching, yeah. Um, <laughs> but that young, bro. And you, you yeah, write. Man. I'm young. I'm 20, and I'm, I'm just like, you wrote all that, all that's you. Yes, in this album, and it previously wow. nobody's writing for you. Nah. Wow, got, Jimmy. Files for you. <laughs> My phone got the notebook for you, bro. Jimmy, what? You didn't tell me this. What? I thought you were writing for him, dog. <laughs> no, man, I can't write that good. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm now I'm a little shook, man. Now I'm like, oh shoot, this kid, this dude is woke, no cap. Nah, not woke just... yet. Not woke yet. <laughs> hey, we, you, you're on the right path though, for sure. I just yeah. for people that are watching, what's the name of the album? The name of the album is the Black Story. Um, Black Story. That name was uh, born like before I even started rapping. To wow. be honest, like. Cause my whole life is kind of centered around this being black, and I always had this idea, yo, if I ever make a a studio album like that, would be my debut. It's the black story, but you know, with everything going on in the world, I was just like, you know, it, it's time. It's time to release it. Yeah, perfectly timed too. I think if you were to drop it any sooner, I feel like it'd be lost amongst the the noise of everything that was happening. But the way you yeah. dropped it was just like. 
so timely could just like okay this is refreshing and it's like a good reminder it's a good feel good and for us to be able to you know grieve a little bit you know what i mean that that grief that we still have and you really did that through your songs i mean being so young how do you channel that where does that come from it comes my from surroundings really um because really I, I grew up in milwaukee wisconsin so that city is it's it's my home like i'm never gonna down it because it's my home but it's if you know you know about milwaukee yeah so really just the surroundings and growing up in a city like that it's you channel that once you get to an older age to really understand like certain things just move differently there Definitely. and um, i really tried to channel that and dig into those roots and those feelings and emotions with this album yeah you definitely did that for sure yeah. so then what brought you to tucson uh it was really from my mom's health mm -hmm. um she's been through like hell and back at this point wow. but she's still pushing she's still kicking and uh we moved out here because it would be better for her health and for her to um get better wow and, uh, it, it's been good uh, that's good to hear. Most part, yeah that's dope how, how have you liked it in tucson i mean what's the differences and similarities between milwaukee and tucson it's definitely more laid back here um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh tucson definitely has its moments where it can uh you know show the the city side but Milwaukee, it was just like constant sirens every night, gunshots wow. every night, but you're just used to it. You know, yeah. it doesn't really bother you. Now that I've been living out here and I went to visit Milwaukee, I'm, it, it's kind of a different feeling. Like you don't hear the gunshots as much. You don't hear the sirens as much. So right. it's, it's been a good change. That's good. That's good to hear. Uh, how long have you been doing music for, GP? <sighs> This is always a good question because I never have an answer. Really, it's <laughs> as soon as I realize that I can write something that rhymes. Uh, I've been doing poetry since like elementary. Uh, it, it sucked back then, but hey, I was still doing it. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you got to yeah, get those, but, those kinks out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really get into taking music too seriously until my senior year in high school yeah okay so it's, it's been two years now that's dope what high school did you go to i went to milwaukee lutheran in, nice. uh, yeah so you moved out here right when you graduated yeah right okay when I graduated. for sure are you are you going to college out here or what you doing just music full time uh, right now i'm just yeah right now i'm just working full time planned on going back to school for music actually that's dope um, sometime <laughs> but right, right, right. right now I'm just working right <laughs> I feel it um so if you didn't pursue music what would you be doing um honestly I, I couldn't see a life without music so that's that's a really tough question to answer uh probably somewhere in computer engineering though so yeah, I probably would have went to school for that immediately, but decided to give music a spin for a year. <laughs> right. Hey, don't just ignore Manny Mays in the comments, man. He's back. I don't know. We we called him out on our last one, and then all of a sudden he's popped back in. You know, Manny, you could leave. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you the least on the show, man. Nah, man you know me. You know me. <laughs> all right, fine. GP said you could stay. It's cool. Whatever. <laughs> I just want to know, man, like what was one like difficult moment for you? Just not, not even music related, but like that challenge do and you saw growth from that challenge. Um, and this is kind of recent, but uh, I would say losing my sister. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, because I after that whole thing, yeah, I just felt like defeated, right? Like, I didn't feel it was just it was it was a hard situation to try to cope with 
I didn't believe it at first, didn't want to believe it. So it was it was hard, but then I, I decided to just channel that emotion and really put it to paper and that's where the song Pain was mm. brew. And um I mean ever since then I, I've put like ten times more work into my promotions, artwork, mixing. Um I'm just trying to be a, a better person because before she passed, I feel like I, I wasn't meeting the standards that I should meet. Yeah. Yo, that's good to hear, man. Yo, I'm sorry for your loss, first of all. But, you know, just being able to see how you, you handle it, now you transfer that into your talent and your art, you can really hear it, man. And it's the pain, like the song Pain, definitely, you know, you can definitely yeah. hear it. And yeah. I know, I know, I know we can hear it. Like, <laughs> Just looking at you right now, I mean, it's just like there's a whole bunch of you've been through some you've been through some stuff, man. And you're so young, it's just like wow, and you're still here, mm-hmm. you're still standing. So that's something to be proud of. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. What? So a year ago, what were you doing that was different than today? Uh, a year ago today, let's see, I wouldn't even know. I have a horrible memory. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I was probably more than likely working. That's it. <laughs> like I've, I've been working since I could, and that's all that I've ever known is work in school. Um, so I probably was just working writing a song on the side saying I was going to record it, but never do. <laughs> <laughs> like one day, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was your when, first time stepping into a studio? Um, It was my uncle first time, like, cause he had his, uh, his studio set up. Shouts out to my uncle uh, real quick. Without him, I wouldn't even be here, but yeah, he, um, he had his studio set up and first song I ever made was a, a song for my sister's graduation. Mm. And that was like, it was fun. And ever since that moment, I knew I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to be back here a right. lot. <laughs> like, it's fun. So yeah, that was probably my first time. That's dope. And then how did you link up with Jimmy and Jay Bailey? I mean, you're really close with them. So, I mean, I want to know how you, how that relationship we linked went. up through the who's hotter competition okay um, shout out harder and cash yeah shout them out um yeah we, they were my competition uh <laughs> <laughs> that's all that i seen them as when we first met was competition especially jay bailey um he he's killer uh but um yeah after the competitions we linked up and we just started working together instead of against each other and we ended up making some dope stuff. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. We're making a family now. OCF. Hey, it's lit. Y'all yeah, remember the first time we interviewed uh, uh, Jay Bailey, the first thing he said was like, yo, or after our interview, like, yo, y'all need to get GP up in here, man. GP is the next thing out of, out of AZ. You got to make sure you get him. And, you know, right. at first we're like, okay, all right, Jay, like, cool. Like, for sure. <laughs> But then, right. okay. yeah, you feel me? Like, okay, Jay, like, that's cool. And then he sent us over your stuff, and then we're like, all right, bet. Like, let him get some more records underneath his belt. Then, like, we're having up in, having him here. And now you're here. So, yo, right. shout out Jay Bailey, shout out Jimmy Coltrane. Yeah, shout out Jay. You got to have a good family that supports you, man. And you found one right now in, this, in the music family right now. Yeah. So that's dope. Yeah, it's dope. What's, yeah, what's one thing? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what was your who's hotter experience? Um, see, let me walk you through uh, the first <laughs> performance I had at the who's hotter. I was just like feeling, just feeling it out. So the first one, I was just like, okay, you know, this is a nice competition. I'm happy to be here. Then the second time around. That was when Jay showed up mm-hmm. and I'm like, fuck this. I got to go harder because <laughs> he came out the gate swinging and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's some comp now. 
then the third time around, I, I just, I felt like I wanted to make it a true performance. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I ended up doing with the song Atonement that was like top tier. That's still top tier to me, but yeah. So the Who Side, it, it was, it's fun. And it's, it's a lot more fun if you go there and you connect with artists, you link with different people and there are different connections because you never know who you're going to meet. Like, I didn't even know Pike was going to show up until he did. And I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be a dope performance. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah, to have to have Pike rocking with you, man, it's, it's a huge oh, cosign up in here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thankful for Pike, man. Thanks. Um, that's the homie. What well, what well, uh what things have you learned from either from Jimmy J to Pike from anybody in the industry? What what things have you picked up on or learned? Uh you gotta stay connected. Like honestly, I'm a very introverted person. Mm. Um, it is hard for me to like go out and meet different people and um, have different types of conversations. Like I can hold a conversation, but I'm not finna be the one to start it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, with talking through them and talking to them, just it really opened up a different side of me that, okay, I can do this. I can have conversations. I can connect with different people. I can reach out to whoever I need to in order to keep growing as a person and as an artist. That's dope. Yo, Jamie, this this one's for you, man. What what growth have you seen in uh, GP since you since you've been working with him? Man, I've seen GP go from one hundred and ten percent to one hundred and twenty five percent to four hundred percent to a thousand percent. Man, this man does not stop getting better. Every single time he brings a, a new track to the studio, he'll come to the studio with a new track and he'll be like, "Hey, I I got this song. I don't know if I'll be able to perform it." And then he goes like does it from beginning to end and we're just like like jaws on the floor and we're like okay like we're gonna have we we need a bucket for all the drool we have we gotta we gotta like kleenex like budget <laughs> now like, it, it's uh it's just facts that's dope yo how, how did that make you feel hearing that gp i mean <laughs> <laughs> what can I say to that? Um, that's dope. That's all it is. That's dope. <laughs> that's fire, bro. Uh, GP, what's your idea of relaxing? My idea of relaxing. Um, honestly, just vibing out to music. Like just putting on some uh chill vibey tracks. Just vibing out, maybe smoking. I don't know. Probably not supposed to stay that live, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's my idea of relaxing, just chilling out. What's uh What's currently in your uh, music rotation right now? Man, right now I've been listening to uh, this dude named Ryan Trey. Ryan Trey. I got his album on repeat. It's um, it's called August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that album has been on repeat. What what kind um, of genre is he? Hip hop, hip hop. Yeah. Okay. I listen nice. to a lot of anything really. Like yesterday, I was listening to some songs from the sixties. Like <laughs> it, it's whatever the vibes are. <laughs> it's whatever That's, the vibes are really. I feel it. What's um What's one song you always go back to for like you know relaxing or for like motivation or what's what's for those two categories? What songs do you go to? For relaxing, I always go back to Smino uh, Amphetamine. Yep. That, that song just. That's the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for motivation, yeah. Probably uh, Ville Mentality by Cole. Guys, that's, that's the one that always it hits me. It's like I relate to it too much. <laughs> yeah too much i feel it what um who introduced you to like cole or to these, to these artists um shouts out to my sister real quick she introduced me to cole that's dope um ever since then i was 
just hooked. We, we know that story. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was introduced to Kendrick through. I I, I don't want to. I want to say myself, but I don't want to say that because I, <laughs> I feel like somebody showed me him. Right. But yeah, and then through every like underground type artist, I always hit up my brother Keo. Like he has the most dope artists. That's how I found Smino. Like, yeah, yeah, he's dope. That's dope. I was trying to, I was trying to think of like what other ways are people hearing about new artists. I mean, are you listening to new artists through Instagram, Twitter? Like, how are you reaching new artists? Man, I just let uh, Apple Music do its job. It okay. it, <laughs> it sets me up some playlists for uh, chill vibes, uh, get hype vibes. And it's all new music, so whatever new artists I like, I just oh okay, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram, see what else you got, play your album, see how I like it. You know, if I like some songs, I take that added to the regular everyday playlist. But yeah, damn, Besides, right. that way, yeah, nah, it's just that way. <laughs> you know, yeah, just, just letting Apple Music do what Apple Music does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what was your first show or concert that you went to? I've never been to a concert. Really? It's <laughs> very, very sad. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It was like, uh -huh. like what? <laughs> wow. I and the very first concert I could have went to was a cold concert. Bro, Imagine what? how pissed I was when I found <laughs> out that I had to work. And I oh, know. it's because of work. Yes, bro. <laughs> oh man, bro. <laughs> hey, when when he drops the fall off, yo, we're gonna go together. Cool. We're gonna get tickets. Facts. Facts. We're gonna go to yes. Phoenix, and we're gonna see. Oh, we're gonna watch it for life. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> so right, I want to go back. It. I want to go back to your album, brother, to uh, the Black Story. I just want to know how did you get into that that mindset what was the process behind uh just recording um recording for that album it was very difficult mm -hmm. a lot of um just co continuous days on one song mm -hmm. just trying to get as much as i could emotionally correct right without it coming out sounding bad or like uh, too distraught in a way. Mm -hmm. So the recording process, it was it was a difficult one, probably the most difficult one I've ever had. Yeah, but um, it was still fun. Like I, I have genuine fun making music. So uh, making that album and completing it, it was the most fun that I've ever had making music. Yeah, and it's it's definitely one that y'all should be listening to after this uh, yeah, yeah. interview. Go check that out. Go run that up <laughs> on Apple Music, Spotify, all that streaming platforms. Yeah, no, it's up. Everywhere. That's dope. It's, it's on Pandora if you search it correctly. Like <laughs> <laughs> On Pandora? I don't know who listens to Pandora, but GP says he's on Pandora, so we're going to shout right. out Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Pandora. <laughs> what, um... What albums were you listening to while you were in album mode? I mean, were you listening to a lot of Cole? Were you just listening to your daily uh, rotation? Yeah, e easily Cole was in there uh, for your eyes only. Definitely was a big motivation for this album. Um, damn, mm -hmm. that was pretty easily a motivation for this album. Um, a lot of Earl Sweatshirt, too, oh, wow. was kind of some motivation for the album. Um yeah, it was a different different variety of artists. Mac Miller hey, is what I always Perfect. needed when trying to get into album mode. So, Definitely. yeah. Yo, that's dope. Because uh, when people ask me, yo, what does this album sound like or remind you of? I, I jotted down here in my notes. I kind of, it reminded me of a Kendrick to Pimp a Butterfly and then Tupac, uh, Me Against the World. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, mm -hmm. those are the vibes I got from it. So I was wondering if those were maybe some inspiration behind it. That evidently, well, that, yeah, that's I, true. I just definitely in the everyday playlist. I, I shouldn't even have to mention him in terms right. of <laughs> listening to hip hop music, but yeah, Pac was definitely inspiration. 
Facts. That's dope, man. I like it. Yeah. That's awesome. What's your um writing process like? Wait, what was that one? What's your writing process like? Uh the writing process is is it's really free. Um I try not to let myself stress too much when writing because it is just supposed to be a capture of your true emotions and your true thoughts and feelings. So um, when I'm writing, like I, I write basically whenever I have a second to jot something on my phone or pull out my notebook and write something. Uh, it, it's usually in poem form first and then I kind of build it into a song from there sometimes it's even just like thoughts just like uh i need to write a story about this conversation i have with this person or you know things like that um the writing process is really just free i feel it what um what's your favorite kind of like poems to write i mean i know there's different kind of poems like you got free verse i mean you got like my my favorite one is the uh, a haiku you know what i'm saying because it's easy to say man yeah <laughs> haiku uh definitely haiku you like haikus <laughs> yeah they're 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 yeah they're nice <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah it's just it's just so yeah you're, you're an actual poet bro like you yeah. before rapping you were writing to poem? Yeah. No, I, I, I always, anyone who asks me, like, what do you do for fun? I, I, I love but hate that question. What do you do for fun? Because it, it's just a weird question to answer. But mm -hmm. um, I always say I'm a, I'm a writer first. Uh, I write poems or stories. That's the first thing that I, I would like to um, specify myself as. Mm -hmm. Then a rapper. Then we can talk about the music. Right. But yeah, it's, it's poetry first. So we, we did it backwards on it. Okay, so let's talk about some poems that you... <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna... I want to know, like, also, so we're talking about poems. What was, like, the first poem you wrote and actually read aloud? Oof. Um... Man, <laughs> I would say the first poem that I, I did in front of a live audience was probably for my school. And it was like, it was a poem about uh, injustice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was probably the first one. I think I still have it somewhere on my phone. I could look later for y'all. Bet, that'd be dope if you found that. That'd yeah. be awesome. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm look right now. We <laughs> <laughs> can still talk, but I'm gonna look real quick. Um, poets inspire you. What poets inspire me? Um, I, I feel like Nina Simone is is my biggest inspiration. Uh, oh. You you hear her a lot in the album, mm -hmm. and that's why because she's top tier. I don't think anyone touches her, in my opinion. Yeah, that's facts. I want to know what separates a poet from a, a rapper. Are they synonymous in a way? Um, To me, yeah, they're kind of a branch off of each other. Um, what separates it is the, the use of an instrumental, mm. um, to me at least. Right. But... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see it as, I, I see it as two different things in myself because I, I, I'm a poet first, right? but in terms of, oh, what's a poet from a rapper, it, they're all from the same, um, creation in a mm. sense, mm. that makes sense. No, that does, that, that makes sense to me. <laughs> I, I like... It's weird because I come in with this high energy and then GP's just so chill. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, I get it. I get yeah, it. His voice is so soothing. Right? Definitely. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For sure. What, um, what, what was like the first thing, like what got you into poetry? Mm, well, 
just everyday living, uh, wanting to express it in a way that can be expressed to other people mm. and captivate their ears. So, um, you know, as a kid, I didn't really talk much. Like I was a shy kid, but everybody knew who I was type of thing. Right. So uh, with my with writing poetry and writing songs, I really just kind of embraced this shy kid act, but hey, you still gonna know my name type of thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel it. That's dope, man. Yo, we're gonna take a little break, and on that break, we're gonna watch a video called Rooftops that you did. So, Nick, I, here we go. We throw in the bag, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll that. I'm like the dark night, walking through these harsh nights full of dark fights. False lights going dark paths like my life, man, it's all bad. All sad, but a great story. Tell my story, make his story, his story, and her story. I've been her story and a dirt story, yeah, all that. Real life, what you call that? Backtrack on my sad raps and I sidetracks, they just hat tricks. In the cut with a bad chick, that's a line that you wanna write. Wanna hear me nag, wanna hear me brag about a motherfucking party life I ain't never had. Asking what's up, nothing really, I've been in the studio, right? Add a flame to the fire, killing every single beat in its entire See, rappers thinking that they fire, please Only thing that chases diamonds, jeez I can tell that they have been writing Need songs that be going strong Only in the ears of people who don't care I don't really wanna go there I've been feeling like a goat here Taking control on the coach here Coach Ella, where the goat fella I should be up there too I should be up there soon Bullets loaded soon, I've been coming soon Take me To the rooftops, I wanna see The world when I stop breathing Sheesh, I know that was not Tucson at all. <laughs> Nah, that was filmed in Milwaukee. Shout out Alexa real quick. She the one who shot that, so that was dope. That's a throwback. I haven't. Yeah, that what, what year was that? That was twenty eighteen. Oh like, wow! Yeah, that song. That was my hit back then. But yeah. <laughs> now I look at it like it's it's a nice song. <laughs> song. Yeah, it's cool. It's not, it's not the be- my best work, <laughs> nah, but it's it's nice. Yeah, definitely. I want, I want you to go back. I mean, from 2019, you dropped a lot of music. From 2019 to now, in such a short amount of time, yeah, you dropped over maybe, I want to say maybe 30 or 40 songs. I mean, just looking at your just album, like you've been making albums, like yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> Where does it come from? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, with each album. It was um, really just a, a capture of where I was in my life at that point. Because, like, uh, with the first ever EP, I was just like, okay, I want to rap. Like, let's make some rap songs. And th- that's what I did. And with the second project and recovery, I was, like, in this very dark place in my life. But, you know, I still wanted to make music, so couldn't give that up so i made that and that was like probably my most raw emotion type of um project at least until the black story came out please go stream that if you can but (laughs) yeah with every project it was really just a capture of where i was in my life so wow that's amazing i mean you must be every after every day are you writing like I, I go by a song a day, a song or a verse a day. Um, you if live by you that. look in my folder, what is the total number of, um, I think, 737. That's um, different ideas or verses or just random hooks that I have in my phone. I don't want to talk to any other rapper anymore. Listen, just, <laughs> they don't have that. 
that work ethic in them, bro. What you say? <laughs> Seven hundred and some notes. Yeah, that's just a build up of the last two years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That y'all got to step your game up, man. GP's coming for y'all, and y'all just y'all just sitting back. I need y'all to be riding. <laughs> first a day, man. The first a day. It's it's hard when you first started, but after a while, it just becomes habit. Mm. You, you gotta uh, start a, a GP Versa. challenge. That needs to be the challenge. A Versa, GP the Versa right, challenge. Right. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Do that because I bet it will inspire a lot of other rappers who are like struggling with this. We call it mm-hmm. what we call word writer's block. Right. Just like yo, just write a verse a day, write a verse a day, and it'll get out. You know what I mean? So I think. Probably should look at this. I just hey free content right there. You're welcome. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can thank me later. Hey. <laughs> That'd be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Jimmy, do you want to explain the show tomorrow? Yeah, so we have a show tomorrow at uh, Thunder Canyon Brewery, and it's gonna be GP mm-hmm. and uh the person who was supposed to be sitting right here, Jay Bailey. He's not though. Yeah, uh, so we have to scold them right now. So, Jay Bailey, if you're watching, this is officially. Um, <laughs> Highly disappointed. Welcome to your roast session, Jay Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow at a, at a Thunder Canyon Brewery, that's seven o'clock. Uh, Jay Bailey, GP are going to be performing, and we have a special surprise. We have the newest member of OCF, our girl Ray. Fire. fire 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 that's oh all gosh. i'm gonna say i'm gonna let her speak for herself yeah. she's fire bet i saw i saw a little sneak peek on jimmy's uh instagram story mm-hmm. and she yeah. said she got some pipes on her yeah yeah so i, I can't wait to hear it then <laughs> yeah that's all we gotta say like like all you have to do is show up and show listen up. and uh you know tomorrow thunder canyon brewery seven o'clock Wear a mask, please. please. Sanitize your hands, wash your hands, do all the cool <laughs> things. Uh, in 2020, you know, um, be cool, listen to music, vibe out. <laughs> Just, it's, it's gonna be a performance. I'm letting everybody know now that I didn't come to play this time around. Oh, hey, you already know. Hey, we're gonna be in attendance, so hey, I'm excited now. Hey, that's <laughs> that's <what's up>. <laughs> I'm like, okay, shoot, here we go. <laughs> right. So I want to know um, what what are you hoping to enhance, like in your in your writing or in your rapping? What are you hoping to? Mm, I feel right now I'm just trying to better myself in the production side of the music uh, with the mixing and the mastering really learning the ropes without having to go to school even though i do plan on going to school still Mm. just learning as much as i can through youtube or through working with jimmy and different types of producers who uh, specialize in the field of mixing and mastering that's dope are you doing everything yourself right now i mean along with jimmy and jay bailey but i mean mostly everything's mixing and mastering you yeah yeah the um Black Story was all mixed and mastered by me. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> and with yeah. every album, it's it's funny because with every album that I release, you can really hear the progression, and I think that's one of the things I'm most proud of. Hey, that's dope. Yeah. Is tomorrow going to be? <laughs> is tomorrow yeah. going to be your first show that you do? Um, no, mm, it'll be my first headlining show, mm. I'd say. Um, in terms of my first show, I've had, I feel like what it feels like a hundreds of shows. <laughs> uh, my first ever show was the through my school. Um, but yeah, in terms of shows, I, I'm, I'm on like. 150 right now. <laughs> Facts. Hey, I remember uh, Pike telling me that you 
you acted like you were drunk on stage from one of your performances? Yeah, that's uh, I'm I'm not gonna speak too much on that because I'm doing the the uh, an, another act on that. But okay, yeah, that uh, for the song Atonement. Mm -hmm. If you uh, play it after this interview, you'll understand. Right, you <laughs> kind of vision what it is that I went for with that performance and uh shout out to Pike because um that show was ten times more better because he was there. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Yo it, usually Pike's up in the chat. He's been he's been quiet but he's probably gonna catch the replay on this one but fact. yeah mm -hmm. shout out Pike. That's dope. Who's your favorite performer? Like who's your favorite person to learn from? Kanye. Yeah uh everything that he's done in terms of performance has been crazy yeah every time i mean i always think about my first example is the one he did with jay mm -hmm. and i'm just him on one jay on one right. it was just like ridiculous that stage set up and ever since then i've studied how he sets up a stage how he really sets the vibe for what he's about to do and I learned from that. You have to bring a performance to life in order for it to be a performance. True. Otherwise, you're just rapping some songs. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, I feel like the the similarity between Michael Jackson and Ye's performing are kind of the same. It's up there. It's up there. It really I, is. Because I, I was. When you really study Kanye. He. Um, it's up there. Yeah, because even I was looking, I was thinking about a video. When you said Kanye, the first thing that popped in my mind was like a video where the the animation person behind the scenes was messing up, and he was like trying to get him his cues on stage, like, "Yo, turn it to black and white," and he's still rapping, and he's like, "Turn it to black and white," and I was like, "Yeah, Kanye yeah, is goaded, man. He wants everything to be perfect. Yeah, he does not mess around. That's, and and that's something you're picking up too. I mean, you're definitely about yeah. to." Yeah, you're no, lighting I and stuff like to, that. I, I I don't feel like I'm I'm getting to that perfectionist stage yet, but I'm I'm close. I'm close. I want everything to be perfect. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. He's 19. I keep forgetting. Like you know, y'all got to remember, <laughs> he's 19 and he's talking about performing, and he has 700 notes in his files. Like, bro. <laughs> I want. I don't even want to. I don't want to interview no more, man. Like I just want him to rap. I just want. I just want him to rap now. <laughs> I mean, nah, nah. We gonna save it for the performance. All right, hey, yo, yo. I, shoot, hey, shoot or shoot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shoot or shoot. <laughs> shoot or shoot. <laughs> oh my god. Um, do you have any pre-show uh, rituals or routines that you do? Um. I wouldn't say it's a, a, a ritual, but oh well, yeah, maybe. Um, I just try to get the vibe of the room. Um, just try to walk around, see what everybody's feeling, see how everybody wants to spend their night, whether they want to be hyped up or they're on a laid back vibe type of thing. So then that way you can go in with a mindset of, okay, I know this person likes some hype stuff, so... I'm gonna make sure to direct my voice towards them. Mm. Or okay, mm. this person's on a laid back vibe. I'll make sure to really vibe with them, you know. I feel like that that's really important before doing a show. That's fine. What's um what's some keys to winning a, a who's hotter? I, I wouldn't know. I've always came in second place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For coming to second place, <laughs> what do you think it takes to win? You might have to ask Jay on that one. Um, but in terms of the who's hotter, just I feel like you should just stay true to yourself and try not to care more about messing up the song and rather focus more on bringing it to life. Because I feel like a lot of times that I've went, I've noticed a lot of rappers, and this is not to diss anybody. Let's mm -hmm. just get that clear. Um, they they try to focus more on the lyrics of the song, and mm -hmm. you have to bring your song to life. That's what the performance part is about. 
And that's what you get points on in the who's hotter is bringing the crowd into it and letting the judges know that you're into it. Mm. Because if you're sitting there head down trying to focus on not messing up the lyrics, you're not you're not gonna win that way. Thanks. Yo, artists, if you listen, take that into consideration when you join the who's hotter. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, especially if I'm in it. I'm I'm coming for blood. Hey, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> that's how it has to be. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. He he be throwing like he be all chill right now, and then he turns it on. It's like oh, it's a little spark. It's a little right. Spark. I mean, nah, nah, nah. We chilling. We chilling. <laughs> uh, what's the main thing on your bucket list that you want to accomplish? Um, man, I'd say. To go on tour, that that's a feeling that I, I want to feel one day, just to be on the road and constantly seeing different things, meeting different people, um, doing different performances, that to go on tour would be amazing. That's probably goal number one. After that happens, if it happens, it'll probably be something else, but yeah. It's like that tour life for sure. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. tour life. <laughs> What's the what's the goal? Are you trying to get signed? Are you trying to do this whole independently? Nah, I'm. I mean, I'm not gonna diss it. If it happens, it happens. Mm. Like if it happens, it happens for a reason. Um, but in terms of how I work with my music, I want to keep it all independent. I don't want to have, uh, per se, someone looking over me in a way. Like, I want to be able to have the freedom to create what I want to create and when I want to create it. Because like you said, I release a lot of music. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> like do. It, it doesn't stop. So if I'm feeling like I want to drop an album today, I want to feel like I can drop an album today. <laughs> right. I feel it. Who um who are some people you want to work with? Um, Man, I don't even know. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> like feed me beats type of thing um uh, i'm i'm open to work with anybody honestly as long as the vibe is right I, hey i'm down hey i feel it what um anybody from tucson you want to work with specifically that you haven't worked with so far man i feel like mm, me and cash could really fuck some shit up that's all I'm gonna say. I was thinking that too. <laughs> that's as if me and him ever sit down in the studio, it's over. But yeah, <laughs> he, he's probably the top one. I feel that. That's dope. I could see. I could definitely hear that song already. Like I'm, like I'm genuinely excited. Almost to like facts. Facts. That's gonna be fine. <laughs> that's cool. Um, which yeah. Tucson artist are you listening to right now? I mean, is it like selfish to say Jay Bailey? Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> he he's in the daily rotation. Like, I I think him and him and Ray, mm. um, like she just got added to the daily rotation. Um, you guys are really gonna mess with her. She's dope, <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I feel like it's selfish to say, but that that's the reality. It's just Jay Bailey. It's just the OCF family. Hey, you gotta you guys keep the loyalty, man. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What yeah, um? Real. What's your what's your spirit animal? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me think. I want to say yeah, lion, lion, because I'm a Leo, so okay. uh, a lion's has always mm-hmm. been. What I feel most connected with. I feel that. I can see that too. Yeah, that was a good yeah. question. That one caught me off guard. I know. <laughs> We're all talking about music. I was like, hey, what's your what's like that song? <laughs> yeah, I saw that one from Daniela's old, old list. I know. Now Dang. it got me asking, what's your uh, superhero alter ego? Yes, I wanted that one. <laughs> <laughs> superhero alter ego? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Um, Joker? Does does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, Joker. 
he, he tell everybody's face. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna say Joker. Yeah, I'm I'm confident. <laughs> yeah, 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 Joker. Yeah. Uh, nah. Ever since I seen Dark Knight, he's been my go-to villain. Um, yeah, he's he's dope. Heath Ledger did a wonderful job with that character. Um, rest in peace. But yeah, Joker. Yeah, I was gonna ask, is it? Joaquin Phoenix Joker or is it Heath Ledger Joker? So you ready to answer my question? <laughs> I mean, even Phoenix's Joker was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. like, mm-hmm. I feel like his was definitely more emotional than the um, Heath Ledger. Because yeah. Heath Ledger, he just goaded. Like, Facts. That was, whew. Yeah, that was, it was, I can't imagine being like an extra in there. Like in one of his room, like just what he does. And his acting is like, yo, what? <laughs> I even seen somewhere that the scene of him clapping in the jail cell, mm-hmm. that was improvised. And I'm like, as an extra, you're sitting in that room <laughs> recording this scene and you just look over and you see him clapping and the camera zooms in on him. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just take this paycheck and I'm going to bounce. <laughs> he, he on some other stuff. <laughs> he extra right now. He's actually the yeah. joke. <laughs> So is that your favorite movie of all time or what's your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time is Zombieland. Zombieland. That movie is hilarious. Every right. time. <laughs> it's like, doesn't fail. It doesn't fail. Like, no. There's never not a time where I watch it and I I, I, I don't laugh. Like, <laughs> come on. But Dark Knight is definitely up there. Facts. Dark Knight's up there for me as well. Yeah. What would you say um, is your favorite song to listen to? Like favorite across the board. Oof. That one's hard. <laughs> um, uh, I'd probably say Perfect Circle slash Godspeed. Mm. Uh by Mac Miller. Wow. That one's a good one. Definitely. I don't know if it's Perfect Circle. I th- I th- okay, I think it is Perfect Circle slash Godspeed. <laughs> I had to think about it, but yeah. Yeah, I have a terrible memory, but that song, yeah. Yeah, terrible memory, but you be you be killing performances, though, so it don't matter. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> balance Yeah, balance. Everything balance. in the world got to be balanced. So, you know, we probably should start off with this. What does GP stand for? I get this question a lot, and I always make a joke every time I say good person. (laughs) But, (laughs) no, it really just stands for my name, Jeremiah Page. Jeremiah Page. Jeremiah with a G. That's different. Jeremiah with a G, yeah. I see why you go by GP. That's cool, though. Why can't you? You should go by Jeremiah with a G. (laughs) Jeremiah with a G. You know what? He's like, Maybe you know what? I consider a name change. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, just Jeremiah with a G. You know what? <laughs> Jeremiah with a G. Like, Actually, don't take advice from me, man. I'm just, I'm just here, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just the interview guy. <laughs> right. What's some, what's some ways that you are promoting your album and the ways that you promote your your music? Um, it's all through social media, really. Um. Mm-hmm. I suck at anything besides Instagram. Like Instagram, I'm on I'm on the top of my game mm. in terms of promotions, but everything else I'm slacking on admittedly, but I'm I'm getting better. But in terms of promoting the album, it's all through social media. Okay. And I'll occasionally talk with the uh, music head, like, hey, I just dropped this new album, you know, you should listen to it. Fact type of thing. I feel it. Are you um like all organic are you putting money behind it what do you like uh everything is attempted to be made in-house so all the promotional uh videos or photos or artwork that's uh made Mm -hmm. in-house i try to use as much free time as i have to put it towards making promotional stuff because it's it's key yeah, and getting people to actually listen to your music, like you have to have an aesthetically pleasing uh, promotion in order for people to be like, "Oh, hey, I, I want to listen to this." Right. That makes sense because 
yeah promotion promotion is hard i feel like nowadays because you got to cut through the noise you know what i mean yeah and like Please. you said you got to make sure make it sure it looks pleasing <laughs> yeah promotion is one of the more difficult things behind the scenes of music yeah i, I would especially if you don't have like that much money to be backing it behind you know and you're trying yeah. to do everything organic it's definitely hard to do but for you i feel like you've been I feel like this. I've seen this album everywhere. I mean, everybody's story. I don't know why. Like, I've been going. I see hey, your, your yeah. album. Shouts out to everyone that's been sharing it. Honestly, that's that's like that. That's completely on them. Um, yeah, I don't dope. like telling anyone. Hey, can you share this post? Like, mm-hmm. if you share it, you share it, and that's dope. And I'll, I'll immediately thank you for it. Um, but in terms of getting it everywhere. That's just thanks to everyone that yeah. shares it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the shout out to the supporters. Shout out to the supporters. Yeah. Um, what's in the works for you next? Uh, I'm already uh working on a new project. That's just <laughs> kind of how it goes, though. <laughs> uh, after every album, I always start working on the next project. Voice crack. God. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> Uh, the next project. Nope, I, I won't. I won't say anything about ah, it. Uh, we can't just get listen to the black story. <laughs> 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 listen to the black story. It's out now, everywhere. It's dope. He's like, he just dropped the project literally today, and he was like, "Yeah, I got a. I'm working on another project. <laughs> this one's gonna be a uh, 25 yeah. songs long." Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would do that much. That's, that's <laughs> too much music for people to take in. Thanks. Right. What um? What's one like? What's the best advice that anybody has ever given you? <sighs> Shout out to Alexa. She's the one that told me this when I was like first starting out. Um, she said something along the lines of, "There's gonna be a million people who don't fuck with your music." Like straight out the gate, doesn't matter if you're good or not, there's gonna be a million people that don't fuck with it. The key to finding happiness and pursuing music is finding the millions of people that do, that mm-hmm. support you no matter what, the fan base that's gonna be there, the day ones, the supporters that will buy the whole fucking merch store just mm-hmm. because it's you. Like, you want to focus more on finding those people rather than focusing on the hate of people who don't really, you know, care for you or care for the type of music that you make. Hey, shout out to Alexis. That's enough. dope. Yeah, That's, yeah, she's dope. That's a good one, man. Yo, on that note, where can everybody follow you? Where can they get the the album? Where can we see you? The album is out everywhere. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Tidal, uh, Pandora. <laughs> it's out on Pandora. <laughs> Shout out Pandora. Pandora. Uh, yeah, the album is out everywhere. Um, just search out the black story with the black being in brackets. Um, and in terms of finding me, you can find me on Instagram at the poet GP. Uh, GP the poet. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's it's popping up at the bottom. That's dope. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you can catch me tomorrow at the performance, the Thunder Canyon performance. Uh, I will be turning up there with Jay Bailey, Ray, Jimmy Coltrane, um, and also you can find me through them. Honestly, just search up Jimmy or Jay Bailey or Ray, and you're more than likely going to find me on their story or page. So That's dope, yeah. man. Yo, it was awesome having you on the show. It's awesome. Just having you, like, yeah. as you released the album, which was dope. So, yeah. Yo, mm-hmm. Thank you for taking your time out to be here, man. Shout out Jimmy, too. We see you in the corner, man. Hey, man. Thank you. Uh, of I'm course. honored yo. to be here. <laughs> yo, we appreciate it, man, a lot. And don't forget, y'all can see us every Friday, 8 p.m., uh, unless we got a special going on like we did earlier this week. But, yo, this has been the Takeover Lounge. You can follow me at Z underscore underscore G-I-V, and you can follow Daniela at... Uh, 
uh, at Daniela <laughs> Almeida zero one. She almost had it too. She she usually you had it last the other day. Uh, I know. Oh man, okay. it's all okay. right. I messed up too. It's the, it's the teacher brain. It's the teacher brain. <laughs> it is. It <laughs> Yo, so we'll see y'all next Friday, man, with uh, Counted by Chris, right? Or who we got? No. Damn. Um, I can't see that far. Hold on. All right. This, this is always Ka- a current. Kasan G. Oh, Kasan G. Yeah, we got Kasan G in here next. <laughs> Look at man, confident. <laughs> He's like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> Catch on G up in here next week. I'm all right. My weeks are all turned around, man. It's all good. Y'all catch us here next Friday, 8 p.m. GP. We'll see you tomorrow, brother, at your show. Jimmy, we'll see you tomorrow as well. We out. Peace.